On this holy Saturday, welcome to Paisley Abbey. Today is a day of waiting. All appears to be so quiet on this day after the turmoil, the violence, the suffering of yesterday. Christ has been laid in the tomb. Here in the Abbey, hangings and falls are stored away. The cross remains veiled. And yet, this is not just a day to do nothing between Good Friday and Easter Day. For in any other year, this would have been the day of preparation to celebrate Easter. The Abbey's wonderful flower guild would have been at work arranging glorious displays. George, our director of music, would have been here sorting out seating and the music for choir and orchestra. Ailey and the coffee team would have been setting up for a coffee plus 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 after the Easter service. And that hidden activity on this day of quiet waiting is reflected in the ancient traditions about what our Lord, the eternal Son of God, did on this day. Saint Epiphanius of Salamis lived in the fourth century. He has a wonderful image of what happened in these hours between Jesus' death on the cross on Good Friday and his resurrection from the dead on Easter Day. He imagines Jesus going down to the underworld and seeking out Adam. Arise, he says to Adam, let us go hence. For you, I, your God, became your son. I, who am above the heavens, came on earth and under the earth. For you, man, I became as a man without help. For you, who left a garden, I was handed over to those who would kill me from a garden and crucify me in a garden. The enemy brought you out of the land of paradise. I will reinstate you, no longer in paradise, but on the throne of heaven. The chair you've been thrown has been prepared. The bearers are ready and waiting. The bridal chamber is in order. The food is provided. The everlasting houses and rooms are in readiness. The treasures of good things have been opened. The kingdom of heaven has been prepared before the ages. With a different world view from that of Epiphanius and a different understanding perhaps of heaven and hell, we might struggle with the imagery he uses and yet it seems to me that underlying his words is an important message for Christians of every generation. This side of Easter, we cannot really imagine what it must have seemed like to the disciples and the other followers of Jesus during these hours between Good Friday and Easter Day. They must have felt that God had turned away from mankind, that goodness and love and compassion had been overcome by all that is opposed to them. But no, St. Epiphanius powerfully tells, no. God in Christ was not inactive in those dark hours. Rather, he was busy fathering the divine purposes of love. And that is a great truth we can learn from what Epiphanius writes, that God is always at work, fathering his purposes of love and forgiveness, even when to our human eyes, God seems absent or inactive. If God was at work in those dark hours following the death of Jesus on the cross, will he not also be at work through whatever dark hour we have to endure? It may seem to us that nothing good is at work, but we can know that God never ceases to further his loving purposes, and that in time all will be made manifest to us. Let us pray. Grand Lord, that we who are baptized into the death of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, 
may continually put to death our evil desires and be buried with him, that through the grave and gate of death we may pass to our joyful resurrection through his merit, who died, was buried, and rose again for us, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us say together the family prayer of the Church. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you forever. Amen. <laughs>